Hey guys, it's Rob. How is everyone? Uh, I'm with uh, the Miali team at Keller Williams, and uh, we are. St I'm starting a new series called Fix and Flip Fridays. So welcome to Friday. Uh, hope everyone has a great day and a great weekend. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through. We're going to start from beginning of the flip process, and the series will take you right through to the end. I'm not going to do a deep dive on any one um, aspect of this. Uh, if anybody has any uh, deeper questions, feel free to reach out to me, rob at the .com. Um, you or you can call the Miali team and you see the sign behind me. It might appear backwards on the, I'm not sure, but it's 860-539-2254. Uh, in this day and age of technology, I have to look at the number because it just saved as a name in my phone. So, uh, so let's get started. Um, we're going to start out with how to find a deal. Episode one is finding deals. So what we're going to do is the most logical way to find a deal is to call a realtor. And that's me. Uh, and you know how to find me. Um, that's, you can call a realtor. I definitely suggest if you're not one yourself that you align yourself with a really good one, an investor friendly realtor. And you can start with on market properties uh, through the multiple listing service. Um, and what they'll do is they'll get you set up in a, a search. Um, if you have any questions about great search keywords, um, days on market, that kind of thing. You can reach out. Uh, just let me know, and I can I can answer that. Um, so that's the on market way of finding a property. Um, off market, uh, there are many different ways, and I will. There are dozens of different ways. I'm gonna let you know what ways have worked for me. Um, first of all, off market. Let's define that. Off market is. A property that is not on the market with a real estate agent uh, or on the multiple listing service and why would somebody want to do that when everyone knows that a realtor can get you more money uh, through the MLS um, than being uh, for sale by owner or being off market not on the market at all and uh, the reason for that is there are a bunch of different reasons um, mainly it's uh, situational it could be a divorce, a death in the family, it could be an estate, uh, pre-foreclosure, um, bankruptcy, uh, tons and tons of different things. Health, it, major health issues. Uh, people don't want to, when they're in that situation, call a realtor and draw attention to themselves. So that's where you can find a, a potential deal now here are a few ways to do that. So since they're not in the market, how do you find them? So one way is what we call driving for dollars or D4D. Um, I found properties this way. Um, what you do is you, uh, you drive your area, your neighborhood, wherever you're comfortable, wherever you feel like uh, you want to focus, uh, drive the area. Uh, if you find a blue roof, which means that's what I call tarp. So if uh, I like blue roofs, um, that means that, uh, especially if it's been there for a long time, the people no longer have the ability to uh, pay for a new roof. Um, broken windows, high grass, uh, uh, snow removal not being done. Um, uh, you'll see it looks abandoned, uh, mail, newspapers all over the place. Those are different ways. What you do is, uh, in driving for dollar situations is, go back, look on the internet, find uh, who owns that property, send them a letter. Uh, you can also drop a note at the house. Um, if no one's living there, that won't help. Uh, skip tracing, find their phone number. You can find them that way. Um, many different ways to find the owner reach out to them and do it consistently uh throughout this whole video you'll see consistency is is what's it's is, that's king so uh the other way to find them 
uh, is through direct mail. We use either list source or listability. There are tons of different uh, programs and, and companies out there that provide uh, similar service. Uh, what you do is you purchase a list. It could be a, a high equity list. It could be uh, a list uh, looking for uh, people who own properties in Connecticut but don't live in the property. They may live in a different town in Connecticut or a different state or a different country. Uh, we're looking for them um, because there's a, there's a really good chance they may not know what the market is around here and uh, they might be surprised in a positive way and they might be interested in unloading that property because it might just be a headache for them uh, now. So direct mail, uh, also email uh, is another way. Uh, networking. Networking is king. You, if you're in real estate, in any aspect of real estate or any business, uh, you're going to want to network. So get out there, find your local RIA Real Estate Investment Association. Uh, CT RIA is awesome. It's one of the biggest in the country. Um, definitely join them. You can go on ctria.com. Uh, if you've not heard of Bigger Pockets, Bigger Pockets, they do smaller little networking groups uh, throughout the state. Um, they're excellent too. They're, they're an, a great online resource. Um, tons of information out there on, uh, on real estate investing, on flipping. Um, network, network, network. Um, definitely B&I, local chambers, uh, that kind of stuff. Definitely get out there. Um, come from contribution. Help be, be a part of your community. Um, let everybody know what you do. Uh, let them know what you're looking for. You never know. Um, social media, it's free. I'm on social media here right now. Uh, definitely just let everyone know in social media what you do. Join um, in, in, in the same vein as networking. Get on local investment groups or national investment groups on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, you can share before and after photos or videos of your projects that you've done. Uh, you can you can show photos that uh, illustrate what you're actually looking for. Uh, shoot videos out there. Uh, you're gonna wanna um, do a video and gets the highest engagement, then photos, then text. So do videos as much as you can. Um, you get a bigger reach and engagement that way. Um, and what you're doing in uh, along the same vein again with networking is you're looking for uh, wholesalers wholesalers are people who um, for the most part generally um, not always but wholesalers are usually not flippers or investors themselves they go out and they find off-market properties to sell to other investors like me like a flipper um, I've also been a wholesaler um, I found properties that I wasn't um, the timing wasn't perfect, so I would I would uh, give it to another agent, I mean, I'm sorry, another um, flipper that I know, investor, uh, and I've also gotten really good deals from, from wholesalers. Uh, what they do is they will find a property, get it under contract, uh, and assign it to you for a fee. Again, if you have any questions, you can just Reach out to me um, or anyone on the team, uh, rob at the team.com That's my email. Feel free to reach out. We can go deeper in any of these different ways to find uh, properties. Um, create a website. That's another thing that I definitely suggest doing. Uh, make sure it's professional uh, and it's clear. Uh, I mean, there are places like Squarespace, and I think Wix and other places like that where you can um, they have templates that you can use but I suggest you have a professional do it because they also maintain it um, and they make sure that it's always up to date and uh, you don't want people to land on your website and it's out of date or the information's incorrect so uh, a website with a landing page um, gives you a professional presence in the market um, and last but not least Swag, see this? KW, the Miali team, things like this. Hats, t-shirts, magnets, mini hand sanitizer for the 
the COVID conscious. Uh, that's the world we live in right now. Um, uh, signs. So behind me, you'll see the flip it CT dot com sign I put that uh, we buy houses cash renovation in progress I put that on all my properties that I am renovating and I've also bought properties other properties from people seeing that sign on my property uh, while we are renovating also car magnets that type of stuff um, uh, flip uh, all everything whatever you can find whatever it works for you magnets Magnets work well too. Um, you can put those in mailings and instead of having all the letters pile up on people's dining room table magnet, you can just throw it, they'll throw it, they'll, chances are they'll use it and it'll be there and it might outlast someone else's letter. So um, on market, off market, bunch of different ways to find properties. Hopefully this would help you get your mind going and uh, thinking of different ways you can uh, enter into the business. Uh, what we'll do is we'll talk about next, we'll talk about uh, once you find the property, what, what do you do? How to find contractors, how to find money, all that good stuff. But truth be told, finding the deal is the best, is the most, well, it's the most important and most challenging way, uh, everything to do in this business. Um, so, Definitely get that down and everything else will fall into place. Um, so, speaking of swag, not only am I a real estate agent, I also flip properties. Always let everybody know what you're doing. And then you can see on the back, details on what exactly you do, what you buy, where you buy. So... Hope everybody's staying safe out there, and uh, thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.